Sorry guys, what is the topic today? Oh, that's right, RJ45 Ethernet cables. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know as fast as possible. Is this all you got? Whoa, there we go. That's more like it. If you live on the planet Earth, you've probably seen an RJ45 Ethernet cable and a jack that it goes into at some point. So it'll be on the back of your computer, on the back of your modem, network switch, wherever else like that. And then the cable plugs into it with a nice little locking connector, just like that. But what actually affects the performance of this interface? The number one factor affecting the performance of the link speed is the rated link speed. So the most common speeds now are 1000, which runs at 100 megabit per second, gigabit, which runs at 1000 megabit per second, and 10 gigabit. However, because the ports and the cables all look the same superficially, you sometimes have to get down to the little details to see what speed a device is capable of running at. Another alternative is checking the manufacturer website or looking on the side of the box. One of the challenges, however, is that the way that manufacturers denote the speeds can often vary. So here are four different ways that you might see one gigabit per second actually written. Data signal integrity is also affected by the cables, so it can be rated at 10 gigabit all at once, but if you have a low quality cable in between, your speed is going to be degraded and not down to five gigabit. It's gonna go all the way down to gigabit. You can only go in full steps. So make sure you have a cable that's rated for the correct speed and the correct distance. The most common cable types these days are Cat5e, which is rated for 100 meters at gigabit speed, but only 55 meters at 10 gigabit speed, and Cat6, which is actually rated for 100 meters at full 10 gigabit speed. However, it's not always easy to tell what type of cable you're looking at. So look for the fine printing on the side of the cable in order to tell you exactly what type you're dealing with. It'll tell you the thickness of the wires inside as well as the category rating. It's usually pretty easy to tell if there's a performance problem with your network. For example, that file that normally transfers in 10 seconds might be taking 100 seconds all of a sudden because it's running at a slower speed. Usually the problem isn't caused by the network card itself, so there's a few things that you can do before you go ahead and replace your cable. Number one, I always do this first, is take the connector and plug it in and pull it out a few times. This can scratch off any corrosion or oxidation on the connectors and can give you a better connection between the cable itself and the network interface card or the router. The next thing you can do is check your cable run. Do you have any really tight bends or any kinks in the cable? These can cause problems and they can make it so that your signal is degraded. Last thing I'd check is make sure that you're not actually running a cable that's too far. Maybe you have a single 100 meter cable and you go, oh, well, it's rated for 100 meters, it should be fine. What if it's running into a switch somewhere that has some internal cabling? What if that is then running another one meter or five meter cable that goes out to another device? That's where you can run into trouble with the distances. So once you've checked all those things and you still aren't getting the connection you need, it might be time to replace your cable with something that runs a higher category or a higher quality internally. Ah! Hey guys. Thanks for watching this episode of As Fast As Possible on TechWiki. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and also don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. Share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it. And if you have any ideas for future episodes of Fast As Possible, click the link in the description of the video and leave us a suggestion. We will make sure to monitor it and hopefully you'll see your idea soon. See you guys again next time.